Hi everyone and welcome back. So this video is the second part of a three part series where I will show you how to set up Cozy Voice by Phone Audio LLM. And in this particular video, what we're going to be doing is trying out the base model. And in the previous one, we did check out the supervised fine tuned model. And I'm going to drop the link to that video in the description below. So to test the base model, what we're going to do right now is zero shot cloning of two different voices from these two audio files, Cogman.Wave and Jarvis.Wave. I think Jarvis don't need any introduction, but for Cogman, it's a character from Transformers The Last Night, I think. And what we're going to do right now is go over to their readme and we're going to copy this part of the code. So first of all, I'm going to comment this out. Okay, and we're going to pass in the text. And just like fish speech, the prompt text is going to be the transcription of whatever audio file you're going to be passing in here. And make sure that this audio file has 16k sampling rate. So let's turn this to Travis. And I'm going to paste in the transcription of that particular audio. Okay, I have pasted it in. So let's run this code again. But this time I'm going to change this to say B. Um, sorry, before we actually do that, something we are supposed to do before we actually do this is send this up here. Okay, let's run it. Let's see how long this is going to take, if it's going to be faster than fish speech at zero shots voice cloning. Hello there, how are you doing this fine Thursday evening? That was not bad at all. But it did take a while, but not as long as um, fish speech. Okay, not bad. And as you can see over here, we have it here, zero shot underscore zero the wave. And now we're going to try cloning Cogman's voice. So while trying to clone Cogman's voice for the first time, I ran into an error because the audio file I selected had a duration of over 30 seconds, which was way too much. And for this particular model, it actually requires something less than 30 seconds. So I had to actually three meets down and I got this. And make sure if you're doing the same thing, if you want to export your WAV file, make sure it's you're exporting to 16K sampling rate and maybe just to be safe, make sure it's 16 bit audio. So I have it here and I have the prompt text, which basically is the transcription of this particular audio file. So since I have everything I need, I'm going to run it. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? Okay, as you can see, it sounds really, really, really good. And let me just show you what the audio actually sounds like. So this is what we actually cloned. No, he's going to die. I was making the moment more epic. No. As you can see, it's not really, really clear, but it actually did a really good job at cloning it. So that's really nice. And if you go here, this is the zero shot. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? As you can see, it sounds really, really, really perfect for a zero shot voice cloning text to speech model. While working with Fish Speech version 1.4, I did try to clone Elon's voice and it wasn't really, really good. And But it actually was good at cloning my voice. So in this test, I am going to try cloning Elon's voice. I do not know how, um, if this is a good idea, but let's just see if it will get it right at zero shots, like it has done for Cogman and Jarvis. Let's see how well it actually performs. 
So now I'm going to change this to Elon the Wave, and I'm also going to paste in the prompt text. Since we've pasted in our prompt text, if we look down here, I actually changed the text we're going to be passing in. I changed it to Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? I'm a Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's podcast and we are having a couple of cigars and a bottle of bourbon to quench the thirst tesla is doing great and we are getting ready to launch more spacex spaceships to mars soon let's see how well it actually performs now let's run it and let's speed it up hello there how are you doing this fine thursday evening I'm at the Joe Rogan's Pest, and we having a couple of cigars and a bottle of bourbon to quench the thirst. Tesla is doing great, and we are getting ready to launch more space spaceships to Mars soon. So that's how it actually sounds. <laughs> um, it's not really perfect, but uh, we'll take it. Because the audio file we used to clone Elon's voice in this particular test was just a 10 seconds duration audio file and if you want something that sounds way more similar and less robotic in a way um it's best to go for something that maybe as long as 29 seconds i think uh at least that's below the maximum limit so you can actually go for that and see what actually happens but that's going to be it for that particular test let's move on to the next test which is cloning my voice and uh, the reason why i'm actually doing this is so i can put it side by side with the fish speech version 1.4 test because in that test i did clone my voice and it sounded almost perfect let's say um, the score was let's say 90 or 80 percent something like that so it was really really good and we're going to do that same test here the only difference is we're going to use a shorter audio file this particular audio file is just a segment a small segment of the original audio which i used to clone my voice in the fish speech version 1.4 video so let's just see if it can actually outperform that even though it's using a small segment of that audio file so now let's run it so i have actually changed the wave file and i've also added the prompt text and i have also changed the text i'm actually passing in it's saying hello dear how are you doing this fine towards the evening my name is austin brain what is your name so it's that simple let's run it so let's speed it up hello there how are you doing this fine thursday evening my name is austin brain what is your name my name is austin brain are you sure your name is austin brain because i am austin brain <laughs> okay um so i'm going to put it side by side with the fish speech version 1.4 test so you can actually compare it to yourself to see which is actually better than the other at zero shot voice cloning this is me talking and this is me can you tell who's really talking at all hello there how are you doing this fine thursday evening my name is austin brain what is your name the next thing we're going to do is cross-lingual voice cloning that's what we're going to do next and let's refactor this code so all we're actually doing here is adding an extra optional parameter to this function and it's going to accept any of these tags that's what it's going to accept so let's write the necessary code that's required so first of all i'm going to do this So basically, if the value we pass into this particular argument is set, that is, if it actually exists, and if it's actually found in any value in this particular array, then it should actually do the cross-lingual, and if it doesn't, it should also do the regular voice cloning. So that's what we are going to do. So first of all, now let's take this off. So basically all this is doing is if we pass in a value to this optional parameter and it's actually found in this array it's going to regard this and at the end of the day it's going to add this to the text just like in the example that we actually had and once it's actually done doing that it's going to pass in the text here and if you look here we're actually calling inference cross lingual instead of inference underscore zero shot so 
that's the basic difference another difference between the both of them is the inference zero shot actually accepts a prompt text while this one does not actually accept a prompt text it only accepts a text and the audio file and basically all it's doing is it's basically taking in two different inputs one is the audio file of the speaker's voice you want to actually clone and the other is the input text as for the speaker's voice the speaker can be speaking any of the five supported languages and let's say you want to come you want the speaker to say something in english all you have to do is add the english tag in front of the text in front of the input text sorry and it's going to say whatever you pass in in english but the perk you're going to get is it's going to say it with a Chinese accent. Let's say the input audio is actually a man speaking Chinese. He's going to actually say it in a Chinese accent. Now let's take a look at the audio file. The name of that file is crosslingual underscore prompt. So let's go back to our finder. This is the file. 在那之后完全收购那家公司,因此保持管理层的一致性,利益与即将加入家。you can see it's either Chinese or something, but I do not know. And we are going to actually use that particular speaker to say something in English. Now, what we're going to do here is, so since we want to use a cross-lingual part, we're going to pass in an allowed tag so that this particular speaker that we actually played earlier that's speaking Chinese, he's going to say something in English. That's what I want. So let's run the code. Now there, how are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? So as you can see, it actually sounds really good. It said this text in the Chinese or whatever Asian accent that was, which was what we were actually expecting. And if you wanted to say something in Japanese, make sure you pass in the text in Japanese language and then change this to that particular language tag and you'll be fine. So the next thing we're gonna do is check out the instruct model. We have actually tried out the supervised fine tune model and also we just finished checking out the base model. So let's move on to the instruct model. 